Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Real Farm, a farming simulator game available now on PC that has some big updates, including a new map and a new harvester for potatoes, which is a new crop in this game. So, if you want to see more farming simulator-like games on the channel, make sure you hit that like button, get her up to a thousand likes for more simulators on the channel, and I'll be happy to oblige. And let me know your favorite type of potato down below in the comment section, meaning mashed potato, baked potato, french fries, those are my favorites, so you let me know down below and say hi. Hello. All right, let's get started by going on a new map tour and going and taking a look at some of that new equipment. We're going to start a new game here then, and uh, we'll get started on our new map too, which is Gruen's Tall, a map located in a forested mountain range in Central Europe. So let's go ahead and take a look at that, and uh, we'll get started with uh, easy, I suppose, so we can get the most amount of money to take a quick look at everything, and we'll start a free game well, we already own the farm. Good. This game, of course, just like Pure Farming, Real Farming, Farming Simulator, lots of games like that coming out. People can't get enough of them. Cattle and crops, that kind of thing. No tutorial needed here today, but check out the farm. Woo. Very nice. A light post. Apparently an invisible light post right there. Okay, wow. That's going to be a doozy if you're driving. So, check out the new farm. Very good. I see the harvester and a tractor over there, and uh, we seem to have some fields already that we own around here. Very typical stuff for a farming simulator, and very nice looking barns, I must say. These are these are actually very good. Graphics always impress me on this one. Looks very nice. I'm not sure if this game is available for consoles or what the price might be at the moment, so just make sure you check Steam or consoles before uh, purchasing. Obviously, you'll have to do that. Here's the header for our uh, harvester, and there's a little weight uh, for our tractor, so we just have to drive over here. Ah, looks like a nice sewing machine as well. Very cool. Some basic stuff to start with. That'll be very helpful for uh, any farmer. Actually, absolutely necessary. Chicken coop over there, I think. No, that doesn't seem like it'd be a chicken coop. Maybe for sheep. Nah, that's very small for sheep, too. And a plow over there. Let's take a look at the map. Let's see how big this map is. Ah, I see already we get 17 different fields. And again, with this being a single-player game, it's nice to see the fields not being overwhelmingly large. I'm all right with that. A nice river flowing through the center of town. Some uh, possible bridges or a dam at the very bottom. And uh, some mountains and trees everywhere, as the name would imply. So that's pretty cool. Not not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and take a look in the car then. Let's let's go ahead and take a drive around town and uh, see what the uh, new map has to offer. And uh, oh, actually, speaking of offering, is this like a little job uh, board here or something? Oh, maybe not. Hey, there's our house. No, lots of solar panels on that thing. That's cool. Wow, that guy must be saving a ton of money on electricity by having those. That's awesome. Now, this looks like a Subaru to me, or maybe a a Lexus, weird type of Subaru Lexus combination. Look at that. That's very nicely detailed. Apparently we're from the farm state on Cornfield 62. Well, that's very official. Very official. All right. Now, one thing I need to know in this game, too, is does this car have a cruise control? Because I have a feeling like we're going to be needing that to kind of go a certain speed. Is there a cruise control? There is. Just press C. Okay. That's easy. All right. Let's roll out here. This car, like, has a, uh, what... A pretty poor turning radius, I'd say. Wow, look at that. We backed out into the opposite lane. What does our character look like? Wow, look at look at his hands. Oh, oh boy. Wow, that's that's going to lead to some real bad carpal tunnel. Well, let's drive through town at about 30. Heck, we should probably even go slower than that. Let's uh, bring her down to like 20. There we go. All right, so now we're on our map tour. And I can already say uh, this, this is a very good looking map. Uh, I like the uh, detail with the smaller map is, is what I really enjoy, even in Farming Simulator. For example, the uh, Old Springs map, uh, or uh, yeah, Old, Old Stream, sorry, Old Stream map is uh, one that I really like because it's small and super detailed. There's uh, bushes everywhere and uh, lamp posts, and it's just, it's just good detail, like that, that little cafe area over there. Oh, cool, there's traffic in the game as well. Apparently that guy had to come to a stop because I was scary. In my own lane. All right. So there's the downtown area over there. And I wonder what's coming up here. Oh, this is a supply store for... Uh, I bet that's where we'd probably buy seed and such. And I wonder where the tractor uh, facility is around here. This is really beautiful. It's like uh, being in the middle of a forest, but also an urban environment. Wow, that music is so good. 10 out of 10 on the music. Just going to come up with some lyrics for this one. Holy crap. Let's speed her up. Wow, look at the houses. Very German. And very nice. Very nice looking. 
All right, we got some wheat fields over here. I don't know if we own these, but we could definitely do some harvesting. Uh, field 17, 16 are there. Those are some of the biggest fields in the game. Not too big either. I love that. I love that. A huge fields that take forever to harvest are like the bane of my existence. I hate that. I want, I want to have everything done quick. All right, let's pull in here. This is the farm store. And let's see what we got. It looks pretty empty, though. Hello? Anybody here? There's, like, no tractors in there, no people at all. Look at that. There's nothing. All right, let's take a look at what they got. Ah, here we go. Here's the new equipment. Very good. The Rival PH4 and the Ri Rival PH4X are the new potato harvesters. So there's a combine harvester used to harvest potatoes that has 400 horsepower and a 450 uh, liter fuel capacity with a 1,000 liter capacity for potatoes. And the same with the uh, Rival PH4X, same capacity, but bigger engine speed or uh, horsepower and a bigger fuel tank. So she's got a little bit faster and a little bit more get up and go. Very nice. Very cool. Shop Germany dealer. Yep, it's definitely meant to be Germany. Forge harvesters in this game, too. These are nothing new, but I just want to take a look at some of the brands. Ah, and for tractors, check that out. Garrison, Triton. Oh, that looks sweet. Wow. That's big money. Very cool equipment in this game. What's some other interesting things to look at? Oh, yeah, cars. Oh, look at that. We get my... Uh, Oh, that, that, that side of that car does not look nice. Right now we're in the Ubon Sports. Oh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. That looks like a big old Ford. That that looks like a Ford. That's awesome. <gasps> we can buy a little... Oh, that is so awesome. That is awesome. A little quad. Oh, it's actually got a roll cage on it. At first I thought it was when you sit in. I didn't realize it was just a four-wheeler. Different types of trailers. All sorts of different equipment. And uh, new stuff in the DLC. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go on a little bit more of a map tour now. Nothing wrong with a little tour. Always cool to see new maps. It's probably something I should do more in Farming Sim as well, just kind of do map tours, take a look at how things are. Though they're not as detailed as this. The detail is a little bit greater here. Why is this uh, got a roadblock? I want to see why. Oh, we can't actually go through it. Why is that? Let's take a look. Oh, I see. It leads to the uh, end of the end of the world. I see. It is literally the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, Raptor. Yes, it is. I'm upset. That's the end of the world. Or at least there. Uh, it's just a giant loop in this case, I think. This will be nice to drive all the tractors around, too, through some of this uh, more hilly terrain. And I think we came from... Seem feels like we came from the left. Uh, but I guess not. I wonder if this is more uh, that we own here. I wonder if we can park a tractor under there or something. That'd be cool. Uh, to actually park a harvester over here for a coming harvest. Oh, yeah, there you go. It looks like manure over there, possibly. And I believe in this game, I'm not sure. I think we might be able to do pumpkin harvest in this game. I'm not, I'm not, I can't remember now. I think we can harvest pumpkins, which is pretty awesome. Pumpkins, potatoes, I'm down with that. And new harvesters for it. That's very cool. Even farming simulators getting some new harvesters for potatoes. And that's pretty awesome. People are excited about that. Beets, actually. But uh, still, we need more potato harvesters. Down that way looks to be some sort of a facility of some sort. Oops. My bad. Well, of course, on this tour, I'm looking around, too. So I'm going to be smashing into a lot. This looks like a mine up here. Look at the rock face. Oh, now it looks like the old west. Yeah, there you go. Music kicks up. Oh, boy. Howdy. Woo. Oh, this is some nice, challenging drives here. Alright, let's go up this way. That's a weird thing to see. A bunch of silos next to, like, a train bridge like that. That's a little strange. They seem like they'd be a little bit more out in the open. Looks like another uh, grain sale area. And some really beautiful roads down in the cut there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Wow. And we're back at the house, I think. Oh, this is a whole different spot. Alright, we haven't gone that way before, so let's circle around. 
Just learning the way. Look at that. That looks really nice over there. Good music, too. Man, that'll keep you busy. Let's go up this direction and see what's over here. Oh, wow. Giant uh, turbines. I wonder if that's something we can buy in the game. I'm not sure. Well, let's go over here. It seems like they couldn't decide whether or not this place was America or Germany. It's like you've got these huge grain silos, but then you've got like an old... Uh, like, look at that bridge there. That's just so weird. Also, cru cruise control is weird. Like, I'll, I try to brake to turn it off, and it just it stays on. Right, let's drive over this way. Well, look at this guy. At this point, this guy may as well get out and push. Does he have the reverse lights on? He's going so slow, he's actually got his reverse lights on. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh, look. Is this another farm we can buy, or is this someone else's farm? Oh, this is cool. I love this farm. They give you one little barn over here. Oh, actually, that looks to be a cow shed. Oh, yeah. With a, maybe a pasture over there? That's a very tiny little pasture for cows. Nothing really going on over here. Wow. All right, let's get up to speed here. Lots of little fields, lots of little uh, places to... Oh, my God. Sir, are you okay? Whoa, are you all right? That guy just went right into the wall. Oh, man, that poor guy. <laughs> let's go into town. And uh, I haven't seen this gas station before. Is this, is this still part of the downtown area? Oh, okay, looks like we're cutting across through here. All right. We'll go across this bridge, and then we'll take a left and go across the other bridge. Now, this is a nice little downtown area. This looks almost a little bit more Dutch. There we go. All right, let's head this direction. And we'll take a left here. A little speed bump. Very nice. Yeah, good detail here, and a lot of great places to do some farming. Very, very small scale, but that's fine if you're if you're playing single player. If you don't have a lot of people to play with, or if it's hard to convince others to play, or you want a single player experience, this is definitely for you. And this is much more wide open. This is the most wide open space here. Oh, this must be where we purchase cows. Okay, so this is uh, definitely the uh, I guess the meat market, you could say, for lack of a better term. And this now seems a little bit more Swiss or uh, maybe perhaps Austrian. Look at these large open uh, prairies with trees around. Oh, wow. Huge hitbox on that. Look at that huge hitbox. I didn't even come close to that thing. Let's go up here quickly. Is this a ski lodge? Maybe we could go skiing. Be cool if we could turn all this land into a field. Ah, uh, this is just somebody's house. Maybe the mayor lives here. Let's see if we can fit in his uh, carport. Oh. Wow, look at how huge... Oh, this truck's too big for this place. Wow. That's crazy. All right, let's go down here. So as for uh, biogas plants and, uh, you know, the ability to so sell biomass and whatever else, I don't actually think that those are around here. I haven't seen them. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this place here. Looks like another just grain sale over here, yeah. But it's good that they're pretty much everywhere. And that you can get to them relatively easily. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. Wow, round of applause. Alright, for that driving like that. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Wow, look at this guy's house. He's got to go up around this place just to get up to his house. That's weird. Maybe he, uh... Uh, maybe he's the owner of the grain place. I, I don't know. Looks like a big uh, sales storage place. More little homes up on the hills. I like this. Huge open terrain here. And then uh, a little different uh, feel of everything. Though it seems like some of the roads need some more love. This road is perfect. This road over here kind of just seems like, yeah, I don't know what we were doing. Let's go take a look over here and take a look at the fields. Oh, this is nice. And again, I, I feel like we could own some of these. I think if we buy these fields, then we can start using these as uh, our own personal sheds. So if we buy field 8, then we can just park all the equipment here. I guess it comes with the field. So uh, we've taken a look 
pretty much everywhere you see each little uh, drop-off point. So there's the uh, food factory that we were just at, and the uh, grain and dairy section. And then there was that uh, large set of... Um, the Kavinsky group is where those large towers were by the bridge. Trading center, lots of places to sell everything. So pretty much every corner of the map has a place to drop off. And this is the player's drop-off point, meaning that's our own storage silo. So let's go take a look at that. I don't think I've actually seen our own our own silos anywhere. Oh, I just wanted to take a look. Now again, if you'd like to see more uh, of us doing actual uh, farming here and potatoes, yes, I know, you're excited, I know, I know. Remember to hit that like button too, because uh, I really want to play some more farming games like this, but I never know which one is the best. I, sometimes I, I just like the graphics or I like the feel of a map and I want to play it forever and other people are like, oh, I don't want to see that, I don't like that map. So be sure to let me know. I wonder if this says exactly what it is. Livestock shop. Okay, I thought it would say like Brian's Cow Emporium. Something like that. Alright, we gotta take a left and then we can take... Uh, we'll take a right. We'll take a left and a right. But we Do we take it here? Yep. Sure do. Alright, so we're on the road yet again to uh, the house. Oh, wow, I didn't see the old castle up there. That's cool. I wonder if there's a way up there. That There's an old castle up at the top of the hill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeez, the wheels left the uh, ground for a split second, and we just got turned all around. I can see why that guy went to the pole earlier. Again, very beautiful downtown area. I would like to see some more people walking around. would like to see some more traffic. In a smaller single-player map like this, I think there should be nothing but bustling traffic everywhere. Because it's not like you're you're playing multiplayer, and so traffic would be a nice challenge to get around. All right, our drop-off point is on the other side, so we just got to go down past the house. Actually, shouldn't it be right over there, next to the house, right there? You see that? Stamina refill. Oh, that's uh, that's the house. It looks like over here to me that we should be able to. I see the storage silos over there, but what is this exactly then? Oh, this is, is this where we pick up seed? Food. Only in attachments can interact with this point of interest. Hmm. I wonder if that's uh, storage for animals or something? I'm not sure exactly what that is. You'll have to let me know. Is That shouldn't be a place where we would drop off, but then why is it food? Food for what? I don't, I don't know. Is that where we feed the cows from or uh, pigs? It looks like in this game too, by the way, I do see a... Uh, so there's our livestock shop. And there are several areas for us to get uh, animals. Like, for example, we have pigs here, and then we have sheep here. And then I didn't see where cows may go, um, but they could be around here somewhere. Oh, there's different farms that we can possibly purchase. Oh, and there's a job board as well where we can do miscellaneous tasks for money. Um, I think there's cows around here somewhere, because that's why there's a dairy shop. Now, here's where we do all our dropping off. Really weird to get up here. Have to circle back, I guess. Ah, there we go. Ah, okay, so we can pick up and drop off here from two different points. I like that. So that's where we can drop it off and then later sell it. Nice little house there for everything. Although a little bit of the grass is clipping through the ramp, that should uh, that's a very amateur thing. But it can be spruced up and fixed in later updates, as well as the grass here not connecting to the road with the dirt path. Oh, boy. That's going to be a big one. And I think we've driven down here before. This this looks like a mine to me. This huge open rock face. This just looks like the American West to me. Alright, let's go uh, off some of the dirt paths. I just want to see what things look like elsewhere. Oh yeah, and these just lead up to fields. Well, that's going to be pretty easy in order to... Um, you know, harvest this field and then drive right over to sell it if the price is right. Alright. Let's head over here. So there's a farm here. And what does that mean? Does that mean we can buy this? Is there a way we can buy this place? Or... Oh, look at this guy's driveway. He... That's going to be a little hard to get up there, pal. I want to see if we can actually buy this place, or... What is this? Just a, pi a pile out in front of their house to put grass clippings? That looks weird. 
So I think perhaps this is where we can actually take jobs for each. Uh, you know, here we go. Watering job, that'll take us about 30 minutes and give us $1,000 uh, or equipment required to do so. Cultivating jobs. So there's many ways to make money without having to uh, actually just do regular farming. You can help other people, which speeds up the whole process. I just don't know about these farms. It doesn't look like we can buy them, but it looks like each farm has their own job and then their own fields that we can eventually purchase. So, for example, this farmer might own field two and three. Um, this guy might own seven, maybe four, five, and six, and then this guy 12 uh, through 14, or 11 through 14 over there. Cool. One gas station, all the typical things you'd need in a farming game, and apparently a car wash. What? Whoa, we've been getting dirty. Let's go to the car wash. I didn't even know we had a car wash. Now that music's playing automatically. I know. It, it's good timing, though. All right, full speed ahead. Yeah, I know, I'm flying now. Let's see how quick we can go here. Yeah, it looks like we can get up to about 90 uh, kilometers. I don't know, is that irritating, that random music like that, or is that is that nice? I think I'd like that every couple minutes, but it just seems to play at random. Wait, where's the car wash? Is it in the barn? No, it's, it's around back. Ah, here it is. Oh, a pressure sprayer. Cool. All right, let's see if we can uh, change the look of our car. Though I'd assume only tractors could get dirty from work in the fields. Um... I can't interact with this? That's weird. Hmm. Maybe we need a tractor here. Let's go grab one of our tractors quickly. Which is, uh... Oh, it's on the other side of the field, isn't it? Alright, let's leave the car here. We'll go for a little walk. So, very beautiful. It's kind of quiet. Uh, you can hear the wind blowing. And it's a, it's a really good game to calm down about. Not worry about, you know, not worry about the money or anything like that. Oh, it's on the other side over here. So you can start with the game, by the way, on easy like we did with about uh, 20,000. As, as you can see here walking in the field too, I love the field information. At the top you can see whether or not it's plowed, cultivated, watered, uh, whether or not it's been fertilized, or if there is a need for pesticides too, which is something I haven't seen before. All right, let's enter this tractor here. And here's first person mode, which I should have looked at on the truck too. Wow, it's awfully green. Is it supposed to look like that? Now the mirrors work, but the uh, looks like the uh, edge of the um, the mirror is actually sticking through. So the mirrors don't really function; they're just kind of for looks. Maybe we have to be in a vehicle when we drive up here. Ah, here it is. Do you want to clean? Yes. Okay. So you just drive up to it and do that. Doesn't look any different to me. We just pulled her out of the. Uh, garage so that, that's to be expected all right well not too bad i think there could be a little bit of work on the mirrors you can see the uh you know the the side view mirrors things sticking through the mirrors that's that's not good but uh, other than that let's take a look at the car let's take a look at some of the detail now again there is a whole tutorial mode as well where you can uh, do some of this stuff oh it looks like every surface is just green except for the uh, sunroof oh that's nice wow we got good Good looking interior though. It's it's actually decently uh, modeled for it just being a car that you're going to drive around in like once. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh my god, there's no way out of here. No handles. Ah, we got out anyway. All right. Very good. And everything's my my favorite color, blue. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, everyone. Well, I think we're going to do some potato farming in this uh, world, but I'll need to get some money to do it. So if you'd like me to go through the uh, trouble of uh, cultivating a field and plowing and doing all that stuff. Wow, good timing for the music. Go ahead and let me know, folks, if you want to see more. And, of course, your favorite potato foods like mashed potatoes, hash browns, or whatnot. I'd love to hear more from you. So thank you very much for tuning in here for Real Farm. If it's your type of game, let me know. If you're not interested, let me know, too. And uh, show your support as well to the devs if you really like this one and download it today via Steam or possibly on console. We'll be taking a look at Real Farming, Pure Farming, Farming Simulator, and many more simulator games on the channel sometime soon. So if you guys want to see more, drop by anytime. I'll see you all next time, then, for more farming here on Raptors Farm. Goodbye, everyone. Take care. I'm going to uh, take a nap, I think. All right. Round of applause, everyone. Thanks for joining me here today. All right. Fantastic. You're all, you're all wonderful. Thank you very much for your support, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. Let's see what sleeping like.
Oh, it just saves. Oh, what? Oh, it's raining. Oh, that's cool. All right. Bye, everyone. Take care. On a side note, folks, I forgot we could take out a loan and actually go down and purchase one of those uh, potato harvesters, and I wanted to take a closer look at it. So before we truly go, I just wanted to swing in and uh, see if we could take a look at one of these harvesters. I'm, I'm excited to plant some potato. It's, uh, it's a really fun thing to actually harvest, to be honest. It's probably the best thing in uh, any farming game to actually uh, do a little harvest on. So let's go ahead and go into the shop. Harvesters. We're going to buy the big one, the biggest one we got, $145,000. Oh, we can pick the color? No way. I think I'll go with the uh, orange then because that, that just looked cool. And uh, we can get the upgraded engine. Oh, wow, the 20? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and increase power here. And uh, I think the orange is fine. Oh, we can rent it as well. Oh, that's one thing I forgot all about is renting versus buying. Well, let's go ahead and buy it and see what this big boy looks like. Looks like, oh, here she is over here. Mmm, okay, so this is the rival, remember? Look at the big old tires there. Wow, that's huge. Absolutely huge in the back. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. All right, can we deploy this thing at all? Is there a button to uh, get anything to fold out? Looks to me like everything's going to be uh, harvested from the front attachment here and then brought up underneath the machine, probably towards the back where it'll uh, be spit up. Uh, that little gray, the large gray thing in the very back is where the potatoes will come through into the uh, holding tank and then can be put out onto a tipper trailer on the other orange thing that would more than likely fold out to the right side and then unload directly down into a uh, into a waiting tractor. Everything looking green here, though, as you can see. I don't know what that is. Oh, and the steering wheel doesn't turn? No. But it looks very good. The vehicle has uh, got a good speed. Oh, actually, if it could harvest at this speed, that's probably one of the fastest potato harvesters ever. It's actually very good. 30 uh, kilometers is the max speed, though we're going way less than that. Only about 15. Not not bad. But uh, if you got to bring this to another field or something like that, it's going to take you all day to drive there. Very good. Let's see how she handles on regular roads. Oh, man. Wow, that's big. No beacons or anything? Oh, I see beacons on top. I, I'm just not certain how to turn them on. Maybe B for beacons? No? That's all right. What about lights? L and F doesn't seem to do anything. All right. Well, that's it, folks. Again, if you want to see more, thanks again all for your support, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the new equipment preview. Again, this is free, as well as the map DLC, both free for Real Farm. So they're uh, new free additions if you already own the game. So the low, low price of zero. It's a good one. Hard to beat.